The super-powerful James Webb Space Telescope was launched into space just a few months ago. But now, NASA's urgently preparing a new mission, the even more powerful Louvoir. And whereas around $10 billion were spent on creating the James Webb, for the new project, scientists decided to really fork out in earnest. Louvoir is provisionally estimated at as much as $18 billion. Its launch is planned for the end of the next decade, which is super fast on the scale of space operations. But what's the rush? Scientists seem to be slow to say, but the facts speak for themselves. In this video, you'll find out what could the James Webb detect, why are they keeping that from us, and most importantly, what's really the need to launch Louvoir so urgently? One of the reasons for Louvoir's emergency launch could be that the James Webb has revealed unnatural activity on one of the exoplanets. However, its designers didn't consider that the obtained results would be overshadowed by the glare of the dazzling stars. The James Webb is able to see many interesting clusters, but in most of the captured images, they seem like just vague spots. That's why the new Louvoir mission will be equipped with a special super-sensitive Eclipse Coronagraph, an instrument designed to suppress the glare of starlight. But why do we need to scrutinize the furthest reaches of our galactic neighborhood right now? Well, there may be someone else hiding there. The primary mission of the James Webb Space Telescope was to detect new planets, but not to thoroughly analyze them. And the discovery of the youngest planet, HL Tau b, was just the beginning. So to date, we've detected around 5,000 exoplanets, and it seems that something inexplicable is happening on some of them right now. Why else would Louvoir need sensors capable of studying the chemical composition of distant planets? The James Webb Space Telescope could only discern the chemical composition of the various objects by their appearance. However, it looks like scientists now need to study the celestial bodies found by Webb in more detail. That's why Louvoir will be equipped with a new feature called Multi-Object Spectroscopy, a special LUMOS FUV system that's able to assess the chemical composition of many exoplanets. In their envelopes, it'll reveal such substances as oxygen, methane, carbon monoxide, and water. The presence of these substances would indicate that a celestial body may have already witnessed the first spark of life. Moreover, Louvoir will be able to detect nitrogen dioxide levels in the atmospheres of exoplanets that orbit sun-like stars at distances of up to 10 parsecs. And elevated nitric dioxide levels in a planet's atmosphere usually indicate the deliberate activity of other creatures. But is it possible that this deliberate activity in our universe could be carried out by several alien species at once? Why would Louvoir need the ability to observe several objects simultaneously? It's entirely possible that after studying images from the James Webb, NASA researchers not only believe that we're not alone in the universe, but also assume there could be quite a lot of neighbors. Thus, for example, a planetary geophysicist Amy Barr and geologist Roger Clark believe that out of 50 Earth-like exoplanets, we can find life on as many as 28 of these various space objects. And probably, experts imply that this other life is not some protozoans or single-celled organisms, but something much more developed. For Louvoir, they're developing a system that can keep up to the minute track of several planets simultaneously. But why would humanity spend so much money on this kind of innovation now, instead of exploring each planet in turn? And why was the Louvoir equipped with separate devices to search for techno-signatures? Quite a specific introduction, isn't it? So far, no human-launched spacecraft has this function. Not so long ago, a study by NASA scientist Ravi Kumar Koparapu showed that nitrogen dioxide absorption features can be detected using a large ultraviolet optical infrared probe, which is precisely what they're going to install on Louvoir. 
If the new telescope manages to detect nitrogen dioxide in the atmospheres of the planets that James Webb discovered, and especially if the level of this gas is roughly the same as the Earth's, mankind will most likely be able to determine the existence of several other civilizations in the universe at once. Louvoir will also be able to find techno-signatures, meaning any signs of the effects of various technologies on an environment. Every day, people leave traces of their technogenic presence on Earth, in its atmosphere, and now even beyond it. But if our own traces of activity have already become habitual for us, not everyone is yet ready to discover, for example, an alien analog of Louvoir in the universe. But what if our neighbors are so advanced that they've already started communicating with one another? After all, among other things, Louvoir will be equipped with devices capable of tracking laser signals and optical beacons. It'll be able to intercept conversations between inhabitants of different planets. It could potentially help us prevent an alien attack on Earth if our neighbors are too warlike. Or on the contrary, it could attract too much attention. Right now, NASA is hastily equipping Louvoir with everything it needs to not just study distant exoplanets, but accurately search for traces of life on them, and even if necessary, be able to contact our neighbors in the universe. And although scientists still refuse to make any direct statements, all this rushing about gives rise to grave suspicions. I hope aliens will be more peace-loving than players in the free online strategy game Conflict of Nations. Join epic real-time battles. Click on the link in the description to get 13,000 pieces of gold and one month of premium subscription for free.